What's up guys? Welcome back to Coasters in Perspective. My name is Liam Sadler and I hope you all are having a great day. Today, I am going to be reviewing my first ever launch coaster, which was Sandy's Blasting Bronco at Nickelodeon Universe in the American Dream Mall. Sandy's Blasting Bronco is a deceptively powerful ride and was a really memorable ride for me as I got four rides on it and it was my first launch coaster as I said earlier. This ride doesn't get as much love as it deserves, and I want to talk about it a lot in this video. Today, I will be reviewing Sandy's Blasting Bronco. Sandy's Blasting Bronco is similar to other rides like Maverick at Cedar Point with the smaller trains, but this ride is more powerful than Maverick, well, at least it looks to be. I've not ridden Maverick yet, but I hope to soon, but today's video is not about Maverick. Today's video is about Sandy's Blasting Bronco if you already didn't know. Now let's start this review on Sandy's Blasting Bronco. Now hold on to your horses, cause it's gonna be a wild ride. To start off this amazing ride, you go through possibly the most intense element on a roller coaster I've ever experienced. That insane first launch. That launch launches you from zero to 47 miles an hour in less than two seconds, and it's a real gut punch. Now. That launch is easily the most intense thing I have ever experienced, and then you go straight into an insane Immelman 2. This Immelman doesn't really provide too much in the front row, but in the back row you get some good hang time as well as whip. Then you go into a second Immelman, which is a little bit better, and it has a massive and really quick turn right into ground level. Then, you go into my favorite element on the ride besides the launch, which is the rollover inversion. This inversion is really great because, first of all, it packs the whip and the hang time. In the front row, you get some amazing hang time, while as in the back row, you get some amazing whip and hang time too. Then, you come to the brakes, and then you go into the turntable. This turntable then shoots you backwards. Then, you pretty much do what I just explained, all backwards. And this is definitely the most intense part of the ride. This backwards launch is absolutely insanity. If you're in the front row, it is very disorienting and will leave you pinned forward in your seat. But there is one big con of this ride, and that is the rattle. On every valley of this roller coaster, there is a noticeable rattle. It really shakes you around on the train, and this isn't really in a good way like with White Lightning, like I explained in my last video. This rattle is really noticeable, and it can either make or break your ride. Now let's talk about the train design. This train design are amazingly comfortable. These are the same trains you can find on rides like Terran and Velocicoaster. These trains are amazingly comfortable, and they really fit with the park they are in. Sandy's Blasting Bronco often only runs one train, but that is okay. As this ride doesn't really get a whole lot of lines, since Nickelodeon Universe in the first place doesn't get a whole lot of lines, and Sandy's Blasting Bronco is tucked away in the back of the park. I never waited for this attraction, as every ride, every one of the four rides I had in this coaster were a walk-on. Now, let me just take some time to shed some light on the presentation of this amazing attraction. Sandy's Blasting Bronco has a really goofy but really great ride sign, as with everything else at this park. The great blue color scheme really pops, and it's right by the American Dreams window, which you can also see the roller coaster from the New Jersey Turnpike, and that is really what I made me come. At first, I didn't know what this park was, so when we were driving by, I just saw that the, that Intamin track, and I said, well, we have to go there. And sure enough, two years later, this is where I am. Yesterday, I did get my trip to Nickelodeon Universe. Now, besides that, the presentation of this roller coaster is great, even though it doesn't really have too much theming. Though, before you launch, you don't really have too much of a warning, but there are some onboard audio theming of a cowboy saying, Yee-haw! I apologize if that's very cringy. <laughs> now, the people that were operating this ride, I loved. The ride ops were very friendly, and there's this one guy who kept joking with the GP, saying, 
Oh yeah, good thing we got no deaths today. Or saying things like, Yeah, well, you have a 50% chance of survival. I thought it was really funny to watch the GP freak out. And plus, when they didn't know that the ride was going backwards, he said, Now let's go backwards. Let's really get this party started. So yeah, that's pretty much what he said, and I loved it. And I loved how the GP ate it up in the reactions when that happened. Hey, shout out to you, ride operator. Now, what score would I give this amazing attraction? I'm gonna give Sandy's Blasting Bronco an 8 out of 10. The rattle really did affect me, but other than that, the ride was amazing. I loved the forwards launch and the backwards launch even more. The inversions were either filled with hang time or whip. Now, it's not the longest ride in the world, but it really do get your money's worth. I would pay the price of admission just for Sandy's Blasting Bronco, and that's a steep price of admission. I absolutely love this attraction, and I'd love to go back and ride it again someday. So that concludes my ride on Sandy's Blasting Bronco and my review on Sandy's Blasting Bronco. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Now, tomorrow I am going to Ocean City, Maryland, and I am going to ride lots of their roller coasters that they have there at Trimper's Rides and Jolly Roger. I am going to vlog that visit, so stay tuned for more content here at Coasters in Perspective. Now, hope you all have a nice day. As I said before, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.